At first glance, multiplying by a three-digit number can seem really hard. Like in this case, I'm trying to multiply 9 times 100. I can multiply 9 times 10 without any trouble. But 9 times 100? Can I do that? I'm going to show you a trick that you can use for a number that ends in zeros, like 100. It'll make multiplying a lot easier than you think. The first step is to figure out which digit comes first. We're going to call that the leading digit. So in this case, it's 1. 1 is the leading digit in 100. I'm going to multiply the other number times the leading digit. 9 times 1 is 9. My second step is to count how many zeros come after the leading digit. 1, 2. I'm going to add that number of zeros to the answer I just got. Now I have my final answer. 9 times 100 equals 900. Let's try it with some other problems. This strategy will help you even when you have a number with more than three digits. As long as the number ends in zeros, you should be fine. In the problem, 5 times 30,000, I'm going to find the leading digit first. 3 is the leading digit in 30,000. 5 times 3 equals 15. My second step is to count how many zeros are in 30,000. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to add 4 zeros to the answer I already got. Five times 30,000 is 150,000. This strategy even works when you have a number that has two digits and you're multiplying it by a number that ends in zeros. 12 times 1,000. First, multiply by the leading digit. 12 times one is 12. Count the zeros for step two. One, two, three, and put them on the end of your answer. Twelve times one thousand is twelve thousand. Hi, I'm Bo Miller. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe by clicking here so that you don't miss out on future videos. Until next time.